Hi, my name is Joe. In this video, we're going to talk about the challenge you may face when you place the switch outdoor. The first challenge you may make is the temperature. This is the commercial grade PoE switch. When we design this switch, we're expecting you're going to place this switch indoor with the temperature control like the AC. However, the outdoor is quite a different story. You don't expect just have quick te temperature control in outdoor. In the summer, the sun could cooking the device like this one and increase the temperature dramatically. You see, there are also power source built into this switch, so the power source always will generate the heat. If the heat cannot let out immediately, you get more hot inside. So in this case, usually we need to use the, like the industry grid or also called hardened grid PoE switch. We need to use the additional power source to power the switch. This hardened grid PoE switch has a redundancy power source. We can use two power sources to power one PoE switch. If one is failed, you still got another running. The second challenge is the weather. Not only because the rain could enter into the enclosure, I mean the box to keep in this device to damage this equipment, but also the moisture could also enter there and shorten the use life. So if you don't want to use the enclosure, you can use this IP67 waterproof grate out of PoE switch. At the end of this video, I'm going to run a test and put this switch at the bottom of the water to show you everything is being sealed. So even the moisture is not going to enter into this switch. And they also have the one hot air vent. This is waterproof hot air vent. So the hot air can let out, but the moisture and the water cannot enter. And there's one more challenge is the search. So you see, you, we need, you're supposed to connect the Kfire K6 Ethernet cable from this switch to your edge device. And the Kfire K6 Ethernet cable is made of copper. The copper will absorb the search in the environment and travel to this equipment. So if your device is not strong enough to stand the search, it may get damaged. This hardened gray PoE switch, also auto PoE switch, can stand the high range search. Okay, now let's move to the workshop and run a test, waterproof test for this switch. This is the Apple Auto PoE switch. One of the features of this switch, it can be powered by another PoE injector PoE switch. You can see that I didn't connect this switch to any AC power outlet. But the switch is working, you can see both indicators on. So the port number A is taking the PoE power from this PoE injector at the center. And this is the cable connecting to the PoE injector. We also got the second cable connected to the camera. Now the camera is live. Before we run the test, there are two things you need to pay attention. First thing is, please make sure this is ground is being fastened tightly enough. There's no gap between the ground and the body. If you, your force is not strong enough, you can use the wrench to fasten the ground. Also, if you don't have any, any additional port you don't plan to use, use the rubber to board it. The second thing is these two screws. You need, to, you need to use this tool to fasten the screw and make sure there's no gap between the top and the bottom. Okay, now just let me fasten the screw. Now let me place the switch to the bottom of the tank. The switch is sinking, sinking. Okay, I think it's reached to the bottom. The camera is still live. You may also see some kind of outdoor switch in the market. There is the hole open on the body of the boss. The reason is because they didn't use the hardened gray components, so they need to have the hole open to let out the hot air. But sometimes the moisture may enter through this hole. It will shorten the use life Alright, that's all for today's video. If you have any questions, please post in the comment section below. See you next time.